Hi, Deb. How are you? Hi, doing good. Thank you, Doctor. May is Food Allergy Action Month. Did you know that as many as 43 million people are at risk for anaphylaxis, a life-threatening allergic reaction? Additionally, an estimated 1 in 13 children has a food allergy. Joining us today with some crucial advice for those managing potential life-threatening severe allergies is Dr. Hamid Sharma, Clinical Chief of the Division of Allergy and Immunology at Children's National Health System in Washington, D.C. Anaphylaxis is a severe, potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. It can happen anytime, anywhere, and after exposure to an allergic trigger, symptoms can come on quickly and severely. It's usually triggered most often by food allergens, but other triggers can include medications, insect stings, and latex. Some of the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis might include hives, redness or swelling of the skin, problems with breathing, tightness in the throat, uh, nausea, vomiting. Uh, those are some of the most common signs of anaphylaxis. If someone is experiencing anaphylaxis, the first line of treatment is using their epinephrine autoinjector. And then after using epinephrine, they should seek immediate medical attention. One of the largest misconceptions is just about how serious it is. Uh, this is a potentially life-threatening allergic condition. In addition, a misconception has to do with antihistamines. Uh, antihistamines actually do not treat any of the life-threatening signs or symptoms of anaphylaxis. As you mentioned, up to 43 million people in the United States are at risk for anaphylaxis, and among children, one in 13 kids are affected by food allergies. So anyone with a life-threatening allergy is at risk for anaphylaxis. And if they've had a severe reaction before, they're at increased risk for having anaphylaxis again. With all of my patients who are at risk for anaphylaxis, I work to create an anaphylaxis action plan. That includes knowing how to avoid their allergic triggers, always knowing those signs and symptoms that we discussed, having access at all times to two epinephrine auto-injectors, and knowing when to use them, and finally seeking immediate medical care after using epinephrine. The Anaphylaxis for Real initiative is a partnership. I'm delighted to be working with Sarah Jessica Parker, and we're partnering with Mylan to raise awareness about potentially life-threatening allergies. We're encouraging young filmmakers across the country to submit short educational films about their real-life experience managing life-threatening allergies. Uh, after submission, up to five films will be selected to be premiered in New York City with Sarah Jessica Parker, and then to be featured at anaphylaxis101.com. For more information, your viewers can go to anaphylaxis101.com. Uh, there they can submit a film, and they can also read about the story of Sarah Jessica Parker's personal experience with anaphylaxis. Doctor, I would like to thank you for taking the time to talk with us today about life-threatening food allergies during Food Allergy Action Month. Have a great day. Thank you. You're welcome.